by their wonderful members of the body and beyond, whoever's watching. Um, today is a bit of a special day to me. Up until 2008, I was extremely rude, drank too much, inappropriate, thoughtless, selfish, arrogant. But on the 29th of June 2008, I gave my life to Jesus. It's a story in itself, I'm not going there. Uh, but he's worked on me ever since. So instead of being joking with rudeness, I still make people laugh, but in a better way. Can I sometimes slip and be rude? Yes. And rather than being inappropriate, I think I'm pretty more appropriate about what I do. But couldn't things slip out? A mistake be made? Yes. We're all human. From being thoughtless, I try to think more about what the other person's feeling and thinking. From being selfish, I'm pretty sure I'm more generous now. It's always part of my heart. I liked giving, but for the wrong reasons to obtain. That was the selfishness of giving. Now, I hope that I give not to receive back. And instead of being as arrogant... Oh, it's hard. It's false humbleness, humbling, pride. I still have a battle with that every day. Do you know, up until only a few weeks ago, I had never heard of the imposter syndrome. Uh, it's where everything you do, whether it was when I was in the army or the police, I always thought I'd be found out that I'm no good. And it would be for absolutely anything. So if I clean the house... Uh, I hope nobody would find out that actually I didn't do a very good job or I wasn't very good at uh, gardening or I wasn't very good absolutely anything. My driving, if someone was in with me, oh, they'll realise I'm a bad driver. And none of these things are true. It's something I'd taken on and recently have got rid of. And So why am I saying this? Well, I know every single one of you that's watching this now have had doubts about themselves, things that go wrong, or you're recognising there's things that are wrong about you in the past that suddenly Jesus brings to your attention. And as like in the imposter syndrome, 12 years later, I'm still learning things to grow, to be a better person, to be better for God, to be able to serve him. You know, it's a wonderful journey. It's amazing. And from seven, I was fatherless. So in 2008, instead of being a fatherless child, I suddenly had God as my father. That turned me around in such an amazing way. And it's good to look back. Whether you were brought up as a Christian, but still eventually went, well, yeah, I'm still giving my life now. I've really got it all together. Or if you were a bad lot, in with a bad crowd, doing silly things, and you gave your life to the Lord. It's fine. Yeah, he's in you now, Jesus. He'll work on that hard heart. Every day, doesn't matter how old you are, you learn, you soften, you grow. And you give out as well. Like I am telling you this now. It's not for me. I know it for me. I want you to know it. I want you to realise what a wonderful plan he's got for you. What a wonderful journey you're on. It's hard. It's hard at times. Can I still be rude? I said yes. Can I be inappropriate? Yes, my mistake because I'm human. I hope I'm not too arrogant. If I am, or any of these other things and more, which I haven't listed, I want you to tell me. I want you to come to me. Have the confidence to come to me and help me. To be even better. His plan for you is awesome. His plan for you is awesome. Lean into him. Join him for that travel, for that journey, for that ride, for this season and the next in the future. I know it's going to be a good, good journey. Bless you all. Have a good week.